Hey buddies, some nuts guy here. Today we'll be teaching you how to install texture packs for Minecraft so that we can get your game looking a lot nicer. This will be a pretty quick video as once you know what you're doing, it's pretty simple, quite easy. There's just a few steps that you need to take, but you know, if you haven't done it before, it can be a little bit confusing. So hopefully in a few minutes time, you'll know how to install your own texture packs and you can play around with a bunch of the different ones that are out there to see which one suits you best. There's a lot of options, and I'll show you some places where you can look for those as well. But, let's go! Step number one, finding and downloading the right texture pack. As I mentioned, there's a lot of different choices out there. There's anything from making your game look more realistic, making it look more old school RPG style, making all the minions look chibi. You know, there's lots of different things out there that you can do to change the style of the game with texture packs. There's a few different places that you can search for texture packs. There's YouTube tutorials, YouTube texture pack reviews, top 10 texture pack videos and you can see some of them visually there, so that's not a bad place to look. I'll actually be making some texture pack reviews and showcases in future, so if that's something you'd be interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified of those when they start happening. You can look at places like CurseForge. So CurseForge under resource packs has a lot of different options. You can you kind of uh, search for what you want, what you're looking for, and browse through the different options that are there or you could go straight to the, uh, the developers of the packs themselves, such as Realism Mats here. You can get the pack there. Once you've found the texture pack that you would like to try out, you'll wanna go into that texture pack to make sure you install the right version. So they'll give you some information about the texture pack here, and you'll wanna go to Files, which will be right here. This will show you all the different versions that are available. It can look a little bit confusing, but I would recommend just looking for the version that matches your version of the game that you're trying to play that has the highest number of downloads. So you'll go ahead and install that. So I'll pick this one here as an example. That will start to download the texture pack. And then once that's downloaded, you can open up the folder where that's downloaded so that you can find it. You'll need to find it. Here's it's in my downloads you'll need to find it so that you can put it into the right folder in the next step. Step two, you'll need to put your texture pack.zip file that you've just downloaded into the correct resource packs folder, which lives in your .minecraft folder. Now don't worry, there's a very easy way to find the correct folder through the in-game options. All you need to do if you're at the main menu is hit options, resource packs, on the left here, you should see any available resource packs you've downloaded and installed, which of course, if you're watching this video, you probably don't have any. And then you've just got programmer art and default, programmer art and default as they are there by default. To open the resource pack folder, which you're gonna put your .zip file into, you click the bottom button down here, and that'll then open the folder for your resource packs. Resource packs under .minecraft. So say this is the .zip file for the texture pack that you haven't downloaded. You're gonna move or copy this into this folder. And now that your texture pack is in the right folder, you'll need to restart your Minecraft to allow it to register that the texture pack has been added and then activate it in game via the options to make the changes. Step three, to activate the texture pack that you've just installed into the correct folder, all you need to do is go to your options, back to resource packs, and you should now see the new texture pack that you've installed. Now, I've intentionally installed the wrong version of this texture pack for the version of Minecraft that I'm playing, so that I can show you that if it appears in red, as it is here, it means it's for the wrong version. Most texture packs have lots of different versions for the different versions of Minecraft that you're playing, so make sure that you download the correct one, otherwise it's not gonna work. I've got this other um, texture pack that I have installed previously. This is quite a cool, realistic looking texture pack that I've been playing around with. And I'm gonna get this one activated. So now if I reload, well Mojang will reload Minecraft for us 
to apply that texture pack. And now when I load back into my game, that texture pack will be applied. Give me a sec and I'll show you. Now that you've installed the texture pack into the correct folder and you've activated in the options, when you load into Minecraft, you should see that everything or most things have been changed. And uh, as you can see, this texture pack has changed quite a lot. It's uh, a very realistic looking texture pack and uh, would probably be quite a good one for making modern builds and stuff like that. Now you can also activate or deactivate your texture packs in game. So like, just like so. And Mojang will reload Minecraft for you to make the changes in game. And then you could always switch back. So you don't need to restart Minecraft every time you want to change your texture pack. Once you've got them installed, you can switch between them quite freely, which is quite nice and easy if you're wanting to test, you know, a bunch of different ones to see which is your favorite. So that's how you install texture packs. Mojang seems like it's given us a bit of a, a bit of a headache here at this very moment, switching back to uh, activating this one. Come on, Mojang. But um, I think you now know what you need to know. As I said, I will be doing some more, there we go. I'll be doing some more um, videos like this. I'll actually be doing some texture pack reviews. Um, and if that's something that you're interested in, then, you know, like I mentioned earlier, hit that subscription. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. I don't do this or say this very often in my videos. I should probably do so more frequently, um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm going to do it here. Okay, guys. <laughs> all right. Hope you all have a good day and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.